We're getting ready to start our range cleanup. The last trip that we took up to the range brought back six buckets, actually seven buckets, six and a half if you want to be accurate. Uh, just weighed it all up. It's just uh, just a tad over 500 pounds. I'll actually get the final tally when I capture the screenshots, but it's going to be over 500. Uh, we should hopefully get a good 350 to 400 pounds yield out of this uh, in ingots. But we're going to get it all washed up, um, put it out on towels, let it dry, and then we'll uh, get it all melted down. But I'll do segmented videos and put this all together and we'll have a final video with the tally. Should be a good cleanup. Okay, this is the step that we're going to next. We got a, a bucket with, uh, probably can't see it now, but there's holes. I drilled about probably 50 little bitty holes in the bottom of this. We're gonna rinse it real good, drain it, rinse it, drain it a couple times, uh, just so we get all the nastiness off of it before we actually start the the process of melting it down but obviously we're not going to do it while it's wet we'll get all this rinsed off and lay it out on towels let it dry for a day or two before we actually start the melting process but we'll run through a few iterations of the the rinse get uh, get all 500 or so pounds of it uh, cleaned up a bit we'll get it spread out on towels i'll videotape that as well it's a process When we get it rinsed, we pour it out onto the towels. We'll level it out a little bit once we get it all out on the towels. and It'll sit here for a couple days drying out. All right, we get it all cleaned up and spread out onto towels so that we can let it dry. And it'll be here for, uh, we'll do this, we'll let it sit out of here for probably at least 24 hours, maybe even a couple of days. And then uh, we'll start the process of melting it down, getting it all fluxed and cleaned, and poured into ingots. Total yield um, out of the seven buckets that we had was 555 pounds. Uh, so we'll, uh, we'll expect some loss uh, from the ones that have the jackets and uh, some of the debris that's actually in here. But uh, hopefully get... Uh, somewhere above 450 pounds of, uh, of ingots, if we're lucky. Uh, if we get anything over 400, I'm gonna be happy. Uh, it's quite a bit of lead from this last uh, trip to the range. Be back uh, later with uh, the start of the melting process and finish the video up. Okay, here's all the lead that we uh, cleaned up and we laid out and we've let it dry. That's been drying for about a week now. Uh, so it should be pretty good and dry. There should be no moisture left in this. Uh, we have a total of 555 pounds uh, that we brought back from the rain, so we're going to uh, start the melting process here and get it uh, cast up into ingots, hoping uh, today's yield will be somewhere over 400 pounds in ingots. Uh, that would be very nice. Anything over 400 I'll consider a, a, a plus. We're going to get started here, and uh, we'll continue the video. All right, we're getting ready to start uh, melting down the lead. thought I'd do a quick video of... Uh, Everything that we're going to be using today, go through safety a little bit. Uh, everybody here uh, that's going to be involved is uh, wearing their proper attire. Uh, we're also going to be wearing gloves and uh, eye protection if uh, one of the masks actually has eye protection, but we've got uh, some eye protection here for the other one that doesn't. Also the masks, we've got uh, fire extinguisher for safety, we have a bucket of water, uh, we're actually going to be uh, dumping the uh, ingots in the water to uh, water quench them. Uh, we've got our molds here, a bucket for the dross, got one burner with uh, the cast iron skillet or pot on top, got the other burner over here, cast iron skillet, have gloves, we have respiratory protection, there's another mask in the back. Uh, some more gloves in the back. We've got goggles, the fire extinguisher, and for extra ventilation, we are outside doing this. We're doing it outside, but we also have a couple of fans that are going to be blowing uh, to uh, further aid in getting the uh, nasty smell and the smoke that uh, is produced from, from melting the lead down get it away from us. Uh, so we're pretty much all set up. We're going to get started here in a minute, and we will continue the video. 
back in a minute. All right, we got the first batch of bullets uh, loaded up here in the cast iron pot. Get the uh, the pan going over here as well. But uh, this is the start of the process. We'll be doing this for several hours today, melting all this down. I'll capture video uh, as we're going along. Um, it'll take probably 15, 20 minutes just to get the first batch going and get the lead melted. Uh, after that, as we add the lead, it's, it goes much quicker. But the start is definitely uh, a little more time laborious. But uh, this is what it looks like for the bullets in the pot. Sit back, wait for it to start melting. And then we will start uh, using our ladles and our skimmers, skim the, uh, the dross off the top. We'll flux it up and then start pouring it into our molds. Back in a minute. And skimming the uh, jackets and the debris off of the top of the pot that's melting over here. This is the, the big, I think it's like five or six quarts. We do a lot more in this one than we can in the skillet, but you can see there's um there's quite a bit of debris. So I'm hoping we got 550 pounds, but probably the yield will be somewhere just over 400. All right, skimming off the uh, excess debris and jackets off the top of this batch. Just about got enough in here that once we get this skimmed off, it'll probably be enough to start pouring, pouring them into ingots. We'll get this last bit cleaned up and flux it and commence to pouring. Okay, we got the skillet about as full as we want to get it. Got all the nasty residue skimmed off the top. Getting ready to flux it. Lead to pour into ingots. Okay, we've got a batch here that's uh, about ready to start casting ingots. We've cleaned it up, we've taken all the jackets out, skimmed off the top. We're now getting ready to, to flux it. Final phase basically. So I'm going to put some, some flux in there, give it a good stir, give it a minute, get all the impurities. To the top, skim all that nasty excess off, and this batch will be ready to start casting some ingots. Get an idea of what our lead temperature is here. Yeah, we're pretty much hovering right at the the melting, melting temperature. Melting yeah. Perfect. Sweet. Beautiful. Sweet. Right. So we've started pouring. And right before he actually started pouring, I used the little propane burner here to heat up the molds. It makes it easier when the molds are actually up to temperature before you actually start pouring into a cold mold. You should make some nice ingots. Nice job. This is casting up really nice. Just hazing over a little bit there. These are, these are some really, really nice ingots. Nice, clean lead. Cleaned it up really good. First four ingots dropped out. Pretty. Yeah, hope to get 400 more like that. 
into the fun. Dumping them out. They come out so nice and easy. Damn, those are pretty. Just keep cranking them out. Watch out for the splash. Water quenching them. We're dropping them in water, um, actually quenching them to make the lid a little bit harder. But these are <laughs> these are coming out really nice, beautiful ingots. Okay, we have all of our ingots actually uh, placed in buckets. There was no way we were going to lift those up with the with them setting on the towels out there. So we threw them all in buckets, uh, which are manageable weights, probably between 50 and 60 pounds per bucket. Brought them out here. We're going to weigh them up. Uh, and get a total weight. We had a total of 60, 64 pounds of half pound ingots. That's 128 ingots that we came up with. And 280, 286 yeah. of the, the regular solid ingots, one pound, supposedly one pound ingots, but the, the, the weights will average. So we're going to get a total weight on this and uh, come up with what we got for a total yield. So, Corey, you want to throw them on the scale here and We'll get the individual weights. Seven point two, forty eight point zero. Five point four, forty. And last bucket. Four. All right, we'll uh, go back through here and uh, calculate all this up and come back with a total weight. Should be a good yield. <laughs> 